Yeah. Um, speaking a little bit theoretically, uh, human societies are complex. And you, if you introduce something dramatically new into something complex, you get what is called emergent behavior. So things happen that you cannot foresee uh, in advance. And we had such, such disruptive innovations in the past, like printed press, like the internet. And one can just be, uh, one can just admire how reasonable the thinkers and the politicians of the Enlightenment era were, because they were not going, oh, this is now printed press. It will create all kinds of unacceptable risks. We have to regulate ex ante what people would be able to do or not. Instead, they created this whole body of legislation on the freedom of expression. And the only thing that was deemed kind of unacceptable risk was, was something like uh, owning, owing uh, typewriters in the Soviet Union. Similarly with the internet, um, in the early days, there too were ambitions to regulate it one way or the other. What happened in the United States was they created regulation that actually freed internet companies from some potential dangers of hosting user content on their platforms, which created this whole internet industry and this whole creativity around platforms. People started to, to be creative in all kinds of way and engaging it with each other in all kinds of way because there was a kind of guaranteed freedom. There was not a minefield uh, of regulations there. And I think it would be wrong to be worried just about with respect to this reg regulation, just about the AI industry in Europe or the AI startups, yes, it will create, it will have a chilling effect on them. The politicians will try to kind of calm them down by giving them some extra money and some new project, etc. But I think the even bigger danger is how or what kind of chilling effect this would have for European industries, for persons, uh, uh, for people and for businesses in Europe who will not have access to the latest and greatest AI tools, even if they are made outside of Europe. This is happening already. Some AI tools are coming to European customers uh, with a delay or not at all. And this puts the whole European economy, its citizens, its scientists, scientists um, at a disadvantage with their competition.